Hey guys, welcome to video 10 of the Hacked Existence Django How to Build a Website series. Um, in this video, we're going to get a little more intense than most of the previous videos have been if you've been following me. Um, we're going to actually look at building a custom Facebook tab and do some Facebook open graph API calls, things like that. Um, so hopefully you guys have a little bit of background with that. If not, um, it shouldn't be too hard to keep up. So what we're going to look at building here, um, here's the Facebook fan page for Nationwide Bar Crawl. Let's check them out and give them a like. Um, we're going to look at building a custom Facebook tab now as provided by Timeline, which gives us a much larger width to embed an iframe in inside of Facebook. Um, so we're going to look at building something similar to this where we're going to take all the beers and information out of our Django backend um, dump it all inside of a Facebook tab and allow users to interact with it. So the way this tab works is you pick a beer, pick any one you want, um, then all the beers list disappears and your friends list shows up. Um, so I'm gonna go down here, it takes a little while for all the thumbnails to load, it's a lot of images. Um, and I'm gonna pick, let's pick I'm going to give this keystone to Tyson Sterling. So this is where the Facebook Graph API call comes in. Um, we take the information from the back end of what was clicked on, we get its image, we get a little description of it, um, and then we make a Facebook call to the Graph API to build a post on someone's wall. Um, so I can say have a keystone on me. I'll hit share. Post published. So now if I go up here and I go to Tyson Sterling, you see right here on his wall, seven seconds ago via the beer app. So this is an app we're gonna have to create um, that allows you to make the calls to the API. Um, here's our post and I put a link in there so it'll actually link back to our website with Keystone. Alright, so in order to set up the proper Facebook infrastructure, uh, three things have to be done. We have to create a fan page, which is the nationwide bar crawl page for the tab to live on. Then we have to actually create a tab where the iframe from our server is going to live. And then we have to create a Facebook app, which will give us an app ID that will allow us to ask permission um, to get the friends list from a user and it'll allow us to post to the Facebook Open Graph API from a user and send it um, this information to actually have the post work. And so this is where the app comes from. It's this beer here. So the first thing we're going to do is go and create the Facebook tab. So to do that we go to developers.facebook.com and you can go to apps and we're just going to create a new app over here so our app name is going to be uh, video one beer and the namespace we'll just do video one beer um, probably can't use a number there we go alright so now we have this new app we have an app ID and an app secret. Uh, we've got a bunch of information in here. So the first thing we're going to do is do, let's see, we want a page tab. So our page tab name is going to be called uh, Beer Gifter. The tab URL. So if you watch my FaceNiff video, you'll see you should always use Facebook over HTTPS. Um, and as part of that, Facebook has actually required tabs now to be served over HTTPS uh, so that you don't break the encryption because if you load an iframe over HTTP, it's going to break the encryption on Facebook.com. Um, so we're going to have to serve this over HTTPS. Make sure you get an SSL certificate set up. So this is going to be video1.hackedexistence.com and we're going to say slash Facebook tab slash beer gifter. Um, and you want to just copy and paste this URL um, and you need to provide an edit URL 
even if you're not going to use it, um, which we won't. You can change the little image. That'll be a nice little icon. So it used to be in 520 for Facebook tabs, but now with the advent of the timeline, you can do an 810 width. So that's what we're going to choose. All right, so now we have this page tab set up. Okay, so from here we need to actually embed this page tab on a Facebook fan page to be able to see it. So to do this, here we go. Okay, so how to add an app to a page. So we need to copy and paste this URL into a new window here. Now we need to go get our app ID from the app we just created. So if I go back to apps, click on our video one, we've got the app ID right here. So we're going to copy that, we're going to paste it into right here. The next is your URL, so that's going to come from, if we actually edit the app, um, we're going to use this URL here. So we're going to put that here and we're going to hit enter and now we get to this page just add the page tab and ask you to choose which page you want to add it to so for this one I'm going to stick it on cloud creative group and we'll just do that for now so I'll hit add page tab um, and now you can see it took me to video one dot hacked existence um, over HTTPS and you can see the problem here is that my certificate is self-signed but there is a certificate there nonetheless click understand the risks it'll work but now if we go back to Facebook and we go to the cloud creative group website on here we have this beer gifter that we just created so if we actually click on it <clears throat> you can see it's having problems so I can't even do a self-signed certificate I'm going to have to go install a real SSL certificate to be able to continue this demo. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Alright, so now I've got an SSL certificate all installed on the server. So if we refresh the Facebook page, you'll see we get our 404 that uh, Facebook tab slash beer gifter wasn't found. So now we're ready to actually embed a page inside of Facebook. So we'll go into our Django project. The video one, and now we're gonna start a new app, call it Facebook Tab. So now inside of Facebook Tab, we're gonna go into our views. Um, we don't need any models because we're not gonna make any database entries specifically for the tab. We just need to be able to serve pages. So the first thing we're gonna do. is go back here into beer we're going to look at these in here and we're just going to copy these two lines go back into our Facebook tab into our views and we're going to paste those right there alright so now we need to define um, we'll call this beer gifter So we're going to just have it return render to response. And inside of our templates directory, we're going to make a directory called Facebook tab. And we're going to call this template beergifter.html. And as always, send it the context instance. So now we need to go into our URLs and we need to add this URL. So this was let's see what's our URL here? Facebook tab slash beer gifter. And we're gonna send that to Facebook tab dot views dot beer gifter. Alright, so let's restart our server. Uh, we'll go into our templates directory now and we'll create a directory called Facebook tab. Inside of here 
we'll create beer gifter.html and we'll just we're not gonna extend base we'll just do a basic page for now and in our body we'll just put a paragraph that says testing beer gifter Facebook tab all right, so let's see what that does. Where is our syntax error? Views.py line six. All right, let's go check that out. Is no line six. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, stupid syntax errors. Equals request context. All right, there we go. Let me start the server. Fresh. Ah, all right. I need to add the context variable. spell instance correctly. Wow, I'm off today. And there you go. So now we have this URL working. So now inside of Facebook, if we refresh our tab here. Okay, so here's one of the first pitfalls that you deal with when you're working with Facebook. Um, since you're embedding your website on an iframe inside of someone else's domain, um, Django, being a security conscious framework, uh, enables CSRF validation by default. That's cross site request forgery. Um, that happens when you embed your site as an iframe somewhere else. So we need to pull in the CSRF exempt uh, decorator that we looked at a little while back add it to this view to tell Django no it's okay Facebook can embed this site as an iframe on their own domain alright so in our views we need to from Django.views.decorators is that right Django views decorator CSRF. Import CSRF exempt. So on this, we're going to use the CSRF exempt decorator. So now we'll restart the server. And we'll refresh our page here.
And now we have a fully functioning page inside of Facebook uh, with an 810 width here that runs through a Django view and serves a Django template. So now we can start interacting with our Django site, pull uh, information out of it in the view, and display it in the template, and have it embedded inside of this Facebook fan page here. So now we can actually build buttons like these and have them all served from Django, um, and you can put them anywhere.